Hello viewers, this is Wagda Renal taking you through today's tutorial on further integration. And in today's lesson, we shall talk about further integration by parts. So the purpose of this section is to consolidate the method of integration by parts and to introduce an interesting development in its application to certain integrals in which the original integral appears again. So we shall see how it appears again in this problem. So problem 1 says, find the integral of ex cos 2x with respect to x. So in this case we shall let this one cos 2x to be equal to u and also let ex to be equal to dv dx. Now when I differentiate u cos 2x I come up with negative 2 sin 2x which is my du dx and when I integrate ex I'll come up with ex as my v. Then I'll remember the formula for integration by parts. So this u dv dx is the given integral I think you can see here u is cos 2x and v and dv dx is ex so when you apply the two you come up with this part it was equal to uv so I'll look for u which is cos 2x and v which is ex and put it here so it will be ex cos 2x now minus the integral of v du dx I'll look for v which is ex and du dx which is negative 2 sin 2x now the negative and this negative will give you a positive which is here so that you get the positive 2 ex sin 2x but the 2 is a constant so you can pull it out now we shall call this equation 1 and we are, the next part will be to get the integral for ex sin 2x So this is the, this is where we stop. Now for the integral for this, we can also use integration by parts. So we shall let u to be equal to sine 2x and dv dx be equal to ex. Now when I integrate when I differentiate sine 2x, I'll come up with 2 cos 2x. And when I integrate ex, I'll come up with ex as my v. Then I remember the formula for integration by parts that integral of ex sin 2x is equal to uv minus the integral of v du dx so in this case uv i will look for u which is sin 2x and v which is ex so this this will be the product will be ex sin 2x which is here then minus the integral of v du dx i will look for v which is ex and du dx which is 2 sin 2x so the product will be 2 ex sin 2x which is this 2 ex sin 2x I think you realize that this one was the same integral which was given if you compare this with this they are the same integral so in other words the given integral has appeared again so how do we do it we shall substitute equation 2 in equation 1 to get that so this is equation 1 so e integral of ex cos 2x dx is this then ex cos 2x is here then this 2 is here and now this integral is this one in equation 2 so where there is this integral I'll put there this which is in this box bracket So it's where we stopped. Now here to simplify it easily, we shall first let i1 or any variable to be equal to the given integral which is ex cos 2x dx. Now that means that where there is integral of ex cos 2x, I'll put there i1. So this will be replaced by i1 which is this and this one will also be replaced by i1 which is this. Next is to expand and collect like terms. So when I expand, I'll come up with this. So this 2 times this gives you this. 2 times this gives you that. Now when I take this one this side, it will be 5i1. 
now I remember to put the constant of integration because it is only now one integral next is to make I1 the subject by dividing through by 5 when I divide by through by 5 I'll come up with this expression and therefore that means and remember I1 was the given integral therefore this integral will be equal to 1 over 5 what I've done I've just I've just factorized then to realize that 1 over 5 ex is common in these two terms so I'll first pull out 1 over 5 ex this side I remain with cos 2x which is this and this side I remain with 2 sin 2x which is this and now I've, I think I realize that the constant of integration has changed which means that c is equal to k over 5 so that is a given that was the required integral Now shall we go to problem 2. Problem 2 says that find the integral of ex sin 3x. So in this case we shall let u be equal to sin 3x and dv dx be equal to e2x. Now when I differentiate sin 3x I come up with 3 cos 3x. And when I integrate e2x I come up with a half e2x. Then I remember the expression for integration by parts. Now when I substitute u dv dx is this given integral which is that it will be equal to uv so I'll come for u which is sin 3x and v which is a half e2x when I multiply the two I'll come up with a half e2, e, e2x sin 3x minus the integral of v du dx now v is a half e, e2x and du dx is 3 cos 3x so when I apply the 2 I come up with 3 over 2 e2x cos 3x with respect to x so now this I'll call this equation 1 and the next step is to get this integral so this is where we stopped in the previous slide now for to we have to get this integral and can be got by integration by parts so i'll say let u be equal to cos 3x and dv dx be equal to e2x now when i differentiate cos 3x i come up with negative 3 sin 3x and when i integrate e2x i come up with a half e2x then i remember the expression for integration by parts this given integral will be equal to uv minus integral of v du dx so i'll look for uv u is cos 3x and v is a half e2x so when i apply the two i'll come up with a half e2x cos 3x then minus v du dx so v is a half e2x and du dx is negative 3 sine th 3x so when I apply the 2, I'll come up with negative 3 over 2, e2x sine 3x. I think you realize that now the given, this integral has appeared again. It was similar to this. So the given integral has reappeared in our process of integrating. What do we do? What we shall do is to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. And only substitute you come, shall come up with this. What is in this box bracket is this expression for the integral of cos e2 cos 2x, which is this. Think you realize this one is here, and this 3 over 2 is here. Now this integral has been replaced with the whole of this, which is in this box bracket. So this is where I stopped in the previous slide and now we, what we shall do is to let this given integral be equal to a given any variable which is i1 let us use i1 now the, that means we shall, we shall replace i1 with this integral so this one has been replaced by i1 and this one has been replaced by i1 next is open brackets and like, like terms so when I open brackets, I'll come up with this expression. So 3 over 2 times a half will give me 3 over 4. And 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 will give me 9 over 4, which is this expression. Now when I take everything on one side, I'll come up with 3, 
13 over 4 i1 and uh, i think we realize that when i take everything this side i'll add the constant of integration k So this is where we stopped. Now what we shall do is make I1 the subject by multiplying both sides by 4 over 13. So when I do that, I'll come up with this. And when I simplify, I'll come up with this expression. So that means that the give, but remember I1 is this integral. Therefore, the given integral is equal to 2 over 13 E2x sine 3x minus 3 over 13 E2x cos 3x plus C. Now this C it will be equal to this constant which is 4k over 13 and when i factorize i'll come up with 1 over 13 e2x open bracket sine 3 2 sine 3x minus 3 sine 3x plus the constant of integration so now we shall go to problem 3 problem 3 says find the integral of sine lin x with respect to x so here we shall let, let u be equal to sine lin x and dv dx be equal to 1. So there is an invisible 1 here. Therefore, when I differentiate sine lin x, I'll have to first differentiate the angle which is lin x. So when I differentiate lin x, I'll come up with 1 over x. And when I, after that, I'll multiply by the derivative of sine which is cos lin x. This side, when I integrate 1, I'll come up with x which is v. Or that I'll remember the expression for integration by parts. Now u dv dx is equal to the given integral which is that will be equal to uv so u is here and v is here so when I apply the two I'll come up with x sine lin x minus the integral of v du dx. Now v is x and u dx is 1 over x cos lin x so when I apply the two this x can cancel, will cancel with this x and I remain with cos lin x, which is that. So I'll call it equation 1 and now the next step is to get the integral for cos lin x. Now for cos lin x, the integral can be also be got by integration by parts. So I'll let u be equal to cos lin x and dv dx be equal to 1. So there is an invisible 1 here. The, so when I differentiate cos lin x, I'll first differentiate the angle which is 1 over x. Then I differentiate cos which is negative sine lin x. For this side, when I integrate 1, I'll come up with x. So next is to use the expression for integration by parts. Therefore, the given the integral of cos lin x dx will be equal to uv minus v du dx. So I'll have to substitute for u and v to give me x cos lin x and also substitute for v du dx which will give me this. So the negative and the negative on this will give me, give me the positive. So this will be equation 2 and next we'll be substituting this equation 2 in the equation 1. Now equation 1 was this. So where there is integral of cos lin x dx I've substituted it with the whole of this, which is equation this in equation two. Now next, I'll have to let i one be equal to this given integral, which is sine lin x, which is here. And now that I'll substitute for where there is integral sine lin x dx, I'll substitute, I'll replace it with i one. So this one has been replaced by i one, and also this one has been replaced by i one. So this was this is what we came up with, and when I open brackets, I'll come up with that expression, and when I collect like terms, I'll come up with that. When I make i1 the subject, I'll come up with that, and therefore the given required integral will be equal to i1, which is equal to a half x sine lin x minus cos lin x plus c, where c is equal to k over two. So it's now your turn to try out the following problems. So that is problem one. Try it out. Compare answer with this. That is problem two. Try it out. Compare answer with this.
steps so that is problem three try it out to compare answer with this so that is problem three four try it out to compare answer with this That is problem 5. Try it out. Compare answer with this. And that is problem 6. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa E-Learning Platform. Thank you.